Hey everybody, Lakes Region Aquariums here today. Today I'm going to talk about the zebra, long-finned zebra danio, or regular danios. They'll fall in the same category, but the uh, specific ones I'm going to be talking about today, the ones I'm actually currently keeping, are the long-finned zebra danios. So these guys are a super, super hardy fish. For all the years they've been in the aquarium hobby, they've been into, they've been thrown into some pretty questionable tanks, and they've always kind of pulled through for the most part. These guys survivability is super super good these guys can adjust very well to different fluctuations in tanks uh, like ph swings everything new tank syndrome these guys tend to push through they're very very hardy and that's why they're a really good beginner fish for people kind of like the uh, harlequin uh, rasbora i was talking about last time the zebra long fin danio these guys are great schoolers they're always super active super active these guys are always going to be swimming around like crazy they're going to be doing their thing um usually at the top of the tank i've noticed but they will kind of explore uh all over your tank these guys are great fish but every now and again they are a little fin nippy i've seen them go after some of my own fish that kind of go after uh i think some of my blue-eyed rainbows every now and again and some other fish that kind of they feel like pestering or checking out that's probably all they're doing is checking them out but i wouldn't be surprised if one day you might see one that's a little aggressive towards other fish i mean every fish could be a little different in that aspect so you might get one that's a little nosy um other than that they're super peaceful really i mean they're not gonna go out and murder a fish but uh these guys are great so i recommend them in you know schools of at least like four to six maybe uh, minimum if you only have one that might be a little stressed out not seeing his own kind kind of around but i would definitely uh i would definitely try and keep them in a school just so they can just mingle with each other and do their thing and explore around together they do show up uh, but for a lot of the times i do see them kind of split off and do their own thing but shortly after they will link up again Super basic uh, diet for these guys. I mean, you can feed them your regular flake. Bug bites are a real big one. I like to feed all my fish. So maybe you try and get a little mix in. Uh, definitely give them their fibers too. Give them their veggie flakes and uh, a good amount of protein too. So that's where the bug bites would really come in handy or any type of uh, protein flake you might be uh, feeding your fish. So, like I said at the beginning of this video, these guys do really well in a lot of different water parameters. Um, these guys thrive in my 7.0 pH in my Planet Aquarium. These guys have been known to be doing very well in 8.0 pH, and I even tested out someone's water once that was 5.0, and he had zebra danios in there, and they were doing just fine. I wouldn't recommend that ever. I would never, ever recommend putting your fish in 5.0 pH, but... Um, the, these guys do well, so that's just saying how well they can do in different fluctuations when it comes to pH and uh, whatnot. Ammonia spike, they're probably going to live through it if it's not too intense. Um, but uh, definitely check them out. They're a lot of fun. They're super good beginner fish, and a lot of people actually use them to kind of jumpstart their uh, beneficial bacteria cycle in their aquariums, kind of like the harlequin reservoirs. There's a lot of similarities um, with these two fish, I'm noticing, now that I'm talking more so about them. But a really good beginner fish uh definitely fun to watch swim around that's always going to be active so yeah the long fin zebra danio or the regular zebra danio i think would be a great fish for uh, pretty much any aquarium so thanks for watching and i hope you have a good rest of your day